Satan is also known as Lucifer. Lucifer had the finest voice in heaven and one day gathered a host of angels to rebel against God and they got casted down. This is one of the greatest lies ever told in the history of humanity and this is what is still being taught in the churches, in Christianity. In this lesson, we're going to see through the scriptures and prove that it's all fables and lies. Before I start this lesson, I would like to give all praises to the Most High God of the Bible, the God of Israel, whose true name is Yahweh, and his son, who the world who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, Christ, and other names, his true name is Yahweh Shai. The Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior Yahweh Shai, is known as Rukah Kodash. So that's why we have to call on the true name of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, our Savior, who is going to send us then the Holy Spirit, which is the Rukah Kodash, to help us understand this Bible. Because without the Holy Spirit, which is Rukaku Dash, you cannot understand this Bible and you all will only, you're only going to be carried away um, with all these lies that's been taught. My double honors to my teachers who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom, which means peace upon you. Also unto the sisters, Aquat in the Hebrew language, Aquat, okay, who are sincerely seeking this truth. My name is Yara Yaya Sharala, and I'm from the branch of Great Millstone GMS Italia. So starting off, you know, I just started a lesson in a different way today because this might this might attract the attention of someone who is new to these teachings if you're new to these teachings i would advise you to go to the channel and watch other videos in order to get understanding on the home page you have different play playlists that are going to help you learn and you can also search on youtube uh, on youtube the videos from great millstone gms these are the true men of the Most High God of the Bible. These are the men teaching the 100% truth. Now, this is a great lie that's been taught in Christianity and amongst today's Christians. And everything they teach you about um, the angels rebelling against the Most High and being sent down and all that thing, Lucifer being Satan, it's all lies. Now, the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because of the lesson I did yesterday, which in the lesson, you know, I brought out points showing you that all angels, either be good or bad angels, they are all under the duty of the Most High God of the Bible, whose true name is Yahweh. Okay? They can't rebel against the Most High. They are all under his service. So, I, in the lesson, I said I was going to expound a little more on the lies that's been taught about Satan being casted down, you know. So let's go real quick into it. I'm going to start off from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, which warns us clearly about this lies and fables, okay. It starts in, uh, in verse 4, uh, in verse 1, it says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of the of devils now you can go check on my channel i did a lesson on um the the council of nicaea in 325 um ad was it okay which is very very important to understand what really went on in this council and this is how they they influence um christianity and added all different kinds of pagan worship and all different kinds of worship of the devils of the ancient times, they all incorporated everything and rebranded it 
and gave you Christianity of today. Okay, now we're being warned by the Apostle Paul, you know, to depart from this um to to um to depart from these doctrines. Now, this is verse 7. It says, But refuse profane and old wives' fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. So we are meant to refuse them old wives fables now let's look at the meaning of fables it says mutos in the greek okay and it says perhaps from the same as g3453 through the idea of tuition it says a tale that is fiction myth fable it says a speech a word saying a narrative story a true narrative a fiction a fable an invention, a falsehood. And this is exactly what is being taught in today's churches. When they say um, these angels had a war with the Most High and uh, they were casted down and all these things, you know. It's all fables and falsehood. And we're going to prove everything everything through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. So, bear with me and, you know, if the Most High will, is going to give you the understanding of this of this thing now let me jump to the book of luke chapter 10 verse 18 because this is one of the verses one of the scriptures used it says and he said unto them this is yahweh shai our savior speaking and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven okay and this is a vision this is a vision that our 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 savior Yahweh Shai is telling these people, you know, but the people at that time don't really have the understanding of these things. And this is a future event. He is prophesying, is prophesying unto them. Now, there are two key words here: Satan and heaven. Okay. Let's first of all go into the word Satan and get an understanding of what Satan really means. It says Satanas, and it says adversary, one who opposes another in purpose or act. It says the name given to the prince of evil spirits, the inveterate adversary of God and Christ. Now this is all fables. These are things that are added. The me the true meaning of Satan is um an adversary. Okay, one that opposes. Um, the will of the most high okay and i've done lessons on this showing you that satan is an angel of the most high now you can go read the book of job the first chapter you can read from the sixth verse and see the conversation the most High had with satan satan is an angel under the service of the most high and he is used at on the left hand side of the most high if the Most High needs to do any evil act because the Most High does good and it does evil, go watch the video that I did yesterday and it brings out all these precepts. If the Most High needs to do anything evil, anything bad, he uses Satan. Satan is the angel in charge. Okay, then if the Most High have to do anything good, it goes through his right hand, which goes through his only begotten son, who is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the right hand of the Most High, Yahweh. Okay? Now, these churches, they teach you all these things. Now, if you go into these churches, these churches, they fear Satan and they don't fear the Most High. <laughs> so, you see how they trick you people into a, a, a hole. This is why you really need to pay attention and come out from all those religion. Because the truth of the Bible has nothing to do with religion, man. You know, it has to do with a, a people, you know, the Hebrew Israelites. And if the Most High gives you this, it's only the Most High that can give you this thing. And you have to be a Hebrew Israelite in order to have it. Because this truth is not for all the people. It's only for Israel. And that's another lesson, you know, in which if you need more understanding on this, we've done various lessons on this channel. Or you can write that title and put the word Great Millstone GMS. We have elders and apostles who have done lessons on this. Now... Now that we have the understanding on Satan, you know, let's go to the root word that it said here. Yeah. Well, it's not going to open it for me, but it's okay. Now, so Satan actually means an adversary, okay? 
now you have the spiritual satan which is satan himself then you have people who carry his will who are the sons of satan now for example can it's still here for example this is the book of john 8 44 which this is our savior speaking yahweh shai he says ye are of your father the devil the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it okay and now if you go into the word devil he tells you that where is it you see he tells you here that this is why you know our apostles always teach us to go into the roots of words it tells you that it's a metaphor applied to a man who by opposing the cause of the most high may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him so you see the devil is a man okay is a man okay and the devil today represents the seed of the wicked in the ancient time the seed of the wicked was true Cain. Cain. okay then that seed went on through um esau and esau is the so-called white man that's in power today and you see esau esau does the bidding of the spiritual satan okay he does the will of satan that's why he pushes all these different kinds of wicked agendas that's why you see his kingdom is and is a very very ungodly kingdom because he does the will of satan he is the son of satan he is a prince of this world because this world right now is run by satan and his son which is esau is the prince okay now going back now this i hope you know we have an understanding of of satan of devil because it's really important to to get understanding on these things because the churches just take these words they run away with it and they give you a fable a story that's not in the bible now there is no account in the bible that tells you that lucifer was a musician it was the greatest musician in the in, in in the world this is something that the churches just came up with you know this is all total things there is no time the bible doesn't tell you that you know satan rebelled against the most high you know these are all stories that are added they are not in the bible these are fables you know, as, as we just read earlier, that we're not meant to give heed to these fables. So going on, we have an understanding on Satan. Now, let's go to the word heaven, which is very important to understand the word heaven. It says, Uranus. Okay. Now, pay attention because this is trickish. Okay. If you don't have the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is written in the book of James 1.5. Pray, calling on the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High and is the one that takes our prayers to the Father Yahweh. He is the mediator between our Father Yahweh. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is his, his son, is the mediator. Okay, is the one that's acting as the middleman because we can't get to the Most High now in these states that we have. Now, the word um, heaven. It says, through the idea of elevation, the sky, by extension, heaven, as the abode, abode of the Most High, by implication, okay, it says, the vaulted expanse of the sky with all things visible in it. Now check this out. It says the universe, the world, okay? It says the area of heavens or sky, the region where the clouds and the tempest gather and dead thunder and lightnings are protected. Okay, so heaven itself has three grades. There are three, three grades of heaven. You have the first heaven where the most high, no, the third heaven where the most high dwells. You know, that's the highest of the heavens where you can get to. Okay, then you have the second heaven which is around the firmament. Let me see if I can get an image. um let me see the world
what are they giving me okay let's just put it like this the ozone layer okay that area is the second heaven okay the first heaven is where the most high yahweh dwells and the second heaven is the, the the layer of the ozone and the third heaven is the earth itself okay the earth itself is the third heaven and this is i'm um, sorry the first heaven is the world itself the third heaven that was a slip of tongue the third heaven is where the most high yahweh the angels that's where they abide then you have the second heaven which is the ozone layer and the first heaven it's the earth itself if you don't get this understanding it's really difficult you know for you to understand what's going on now if we go to the book of genesis chapter chapter 2 and verse 8 it tells you and yahweh power planted the reason why i said yahweh power you should go watch um other other videos that i did on the channel if you want to know more on what went on in the garden of eden you know if you want to know what really went on in the in the in the, in the time of creation you know the trees and the garden and all that thing you know in which the churches they teach them all wrong can go to the channel and check out those videos you know so it says and yahweh planted a garden eastward in eden okay so the churches they tell you the garden of eden okay but eden represents the earth and eden if you go to the root word you see it says pleasure it also means paradise paradise pleasure okay because this hurts was created for the pleasure of man but ever since the wicked ball rule ever since they came into power you know it's all a mess it's all a mess so you have you say it says eastward now if you go into the uh, into eden which is the world if you go eastward of eden this is speaking of israel man the middle east this is speaking of israel so you see the reason why you really need to understand what we're speaking about this is the first heaven okay and this is a place where the most High created for we humans this is the first heaven okay and right now i can tell you there are people living in heaven and people living in hell man if you go to the channel you still get more understanding on hell because this is one of this is another fable that the churches they teach you they tell you there's a place where you're born forever you know it's all lies the bible doesn't speak of these things okay now if you want understanding on this just go through the channel you have lessons on this i have lessons on this you know or you just write the hell fable or hell hell doctrine and you put um great millstone there are lots of videos that are going to show you that what that means but today we're going to focus on these three heavens then you know speak about the the fall of um lucifer and his angels and satan and all that thing okay so now that we have the understanding that the first heaven is the earth itself let's go to the book of second corinthians second corinthians chapter 12 um and verse 2 and this is the apostle paul telling you about his experience you know when he died because the apostle paul actually died and he got the opportunity of seeing the third heaven where the most high abide and the angels so this is it it says i knew a man in amashayak above 14 years ago whether in the body i cannot tell and that man that is speaking of is himself he says whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body i cannot tell the most i know it you see such an one caught up to the third heaven so you see and it says and i knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell the most i know it how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter 
So the paradise that he's speaking of is the third heaven. So why do you think it's written here third heaven? Because there are three grades of heaven. That's the third heaven. Okay? So hopefully you, you're getting the understanding and you, you're following, man. Okay? Now, let's go back to the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. It says, And the Most High said, and the powers actually, okay, the Allah I am, because the word here is Allah I am. Now, if you go there, it's written in its corrupt um, form of Hebrew, which is Elohim. But the original word there in the ancient Paleo Hebrew is Allah I am, and it means powers. But I'm not going to go into all that. It says, And God said, let me just read it verbatim. It says, And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the light. What's that firmament? The ozone layer. Okay. That's the second heaven. That's the second heaven. Okay. It says, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for sign and for season and for days and years. Okay. That's speaking of the ozone layer. The layer that circles around the earth this is the second heaven okay let me get one more scripture to to back this up and move to the next step this is the book of second peter chapter 3 and um verse 5 it says now let me start from verse 3 it says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lost and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the father fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation for these they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the most high the heavens so you see it's telling you the heavens so you don't have just one heaven three layers of heavens okay it says the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens check this out but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same world are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men because there is heaven on earth so do you think the most I preserve. So, what are you saying? The, the heavens and the earth are, are, are preserved unto fire. You see, because here on earth you have the heaven, the so-called rich men, the powerful people that are running this earth, they are actually living in heaven, and the poor people that are suffering are living in hell. Hell is a condition. It means the grave, and it means different things in the Bible. Okay. That's where um, um, King David said, if I lay my bed in hell, I know you're with me. Do you think the Most High is going to go into a place where people are uh, burning, the Satan is poking them, and is going to stay with King David in hell such, in such place? These are all fables of the church. The Most High has made them blind. He has taken away understanding from them. That's why they teach all these lies. So having said this, I hope we've cleared out the understanding on the on the on the issue of heaven because it's important we get the understanding on what's that heaven has three grades you have the third heaven which the most high recites the second heaven which is the ozone layer that, that surrounds the earth then the third heaven is the earth itself that's why it's called eden in the hebrew aidan okay paradise so going back here in the book of Luke 10, it says, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So it says Satan, which is actually speaking about the people that are following Satan. Esau, the man of sin, that's been spoken of in the second book of Thessalonians, the second chapter, is the so-called white man that's in power today. He came in through the Greeks. Okay. He came in through the Greeks. He actually lost his power when he became he, when he became the Romans. You know, he ruled for some time and he lost his power during the Dark Ages. Okay, 
to the so-called um, Moors, to the so-called um, Negroes, um, to the so-called black man. You know, they ruled in Europe for a period of a thousand years. You know, that's when this man fell. It was it was in it was in heaven at that time. Okay, and now this is a prophecy. That our Savior is saying that in the future, Satan is going to fall from his lofty position. Heaven here represents a lofty position. Now, if you go to the root word that's here, I don't really know why it's not giving me the root word. Just bear with me. Please bear with me. Okay, you see, that's the root word right there. And it says, probably a, a, a from an obsolete word. Obsolete means it's no longer in use, you know. It says, perhaps akin to Jia, it says, a mountain as lifting itself above the plain hill or mountain okay this actually means a lofty position okay a lofty position so the man that's in power today which is esau edom the banking families the wicked seed okay they are going to lose that position that they have they're going to fall from heaven and they will be casted into abject poverty they go into captivity that's why the bible tells you that he that leadeth into captivity shall surely go into captivity and he that killeth but with the sword must surely die by the sword okay so this is speaking about the powers that be now let's go to another scripture that they use but they don't understand is the book of revelation the 12th chapter hopefully you know through the spirit we're making we're making this thing clear now this is the book of revelation chapter 12 i'll start from verse 7 it says and there was a war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angel and this is a future prophecy this is a future prophecy this is not the past okay because if you keep reading it tells you and it says the, um the dragon the dragon represents you know, it represents the powers that be right now. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's what the dragon represents. And the, the dragon is also known as a serpent. Okay. Now, let's go. And I told you at the beginning that, you know, this seed, because there is something known as reincarnation in the Bible. You see, for you to understand all those things, you need to pray. That's why I say you should pray to the Most High as the book of James 1.5 says. You know, if you lack wisdom, ask from the Most High that give it. You know, seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given. Be sincere with yourself. First of all, pray to the Most High to give you understanding in this. And the Most High will give you understanding. Because all this, you know, it is either it opens someone's eyes to get understanding of what the Bible really speaks about. Or it makes you, you know, it makes you a demon. It makes you worse than before. Because why? You're used to the doctrine that's been taught in the churches all your life, which is, which, which is all fable and lies, you know? That's why you, you need more time to learn these things, okay? It says, Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was that place found anymore in heaven. Okay, this heaven right here means the lofty position where they find themselves right now. Let me see what it says in strong. If it's the same thing, it's the same thing. Uranus. Okay. It's the lofty position where the so-called white man that's in power today. Now check the verse 9. It says, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. This is what I wanted to say. There's something known about reincarnation. And I said that the seed of the wicked started first um known as um as Cain, but before it was Cain, it was known as the as as the seed of the serpent and that was that same serpent that beguiled eve okay that's why you need to go watch some videos that we did on um on what really go went on in the garden of eden that serpent is a man it's not a real serpent just like the churches tell you that's all fables that was how um it, it's just like when our savior called certain people generation of vipers does it mean they were actual vipers no you see 
Because the Bible is written in a code and you need a spirit to understand this. And that spirit is this Holy Spirit known as the Rukah Kodash in the ancient Hebrew language, the Lashwan Kodash. And it's given directly from our Savior, Yahweh Shai, who you need to call. And stop calling Jesus because you can call Jesus from now to 2028 if the Most High is going to permit and you would not get the understanding of this thing. You have to call on the true name. Okay? So you see, before they became known as Cain, then later known as Esau, okay, Aishashua, which Esau means wasted away, Aishashua, because it lost its pigmentation. That's why you see their skin, they're so-called white. Okay? The white man looks the way he is because the Most High took away his pigmentation. They lack melanin. Melanin, you can just write it on the internet and check what it wants. So they have some they don't have something that we have. A so-called white man cannot produce a so-called black child, but a black child, a so-called black child can produce a so-called white man. So you see. Now that's another lesson for another time. So it says, and there was war in heaven, in which these devils they are all, they are going to make a war with the most high. That's why they're preparing this um this NATO, okay. NATO is a military that they're preparing to fight against the Most High because they know not, they know about the angels of the Most High who they so-called um, the UFOs. They know that the UFOs, the so-called UFOs, are the chariots of the angels of our of our Lord Yahweh Shai. They know about all these things. That's why they have um, a space military. Okay, why do you think they have a space military? <laughs> so you see, it says he said they fought against michael and his angel and prevailed not neither was that place found anymore in heaven their lofty position they lost it man it says and the great dragon was cast down check this out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world now who deceived the whole world was this a, was it an actual serpent was the snake actually running around and telling people no um you are not a israel israelite i call you a black man you know is he a snake that went around the world preaching about um the de um democracy is it a snake that that tells you that oh no it doesn't matter if you're if you're a man you can change your gender to a woman is he a snake that 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 that, that um what's the word i'm looking for anyway is it a snake that's going around you know deceiving the world lying to the world you know creating all this false politics and lying to the world no it's not a natural snake it represents a people okay the bible is written in code okay so it says the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called devil called devil and satan why because they do the will of satan they are devils remember we told you devil is a metaphor for a man you see metaphor applied to a man who opposing the cause of the most high may be said to act the part of the devil to side with him so you see it says with which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him if you keep reading it says and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our most high and the power of his of his of his hamashayak messiah okay it says now is come the kingdom of god okay for the accusers of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our our power day and night and it says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb who is the lamb yahweh shai the one whom the world ignorantly calls jesus yeshua christ and other names it says and they overcame him who are those people that overcame him okay the elect the elect of israel because not israel all israel is going to be saved at this time but in the kingdom all israel will be saved so you see so if you're not part of that elect you can't overcome this devil this devil is going to cause your death in this time around okay but the people that are going to overcome that devil the dragon is because they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death you see 
so you see this is a this is a a, a future event that is yet to happen now another book to back it up is the book of daniel the 12th chapter okay if you read daniel the 12th chapter the 12th verse it says and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth up for the children of thy people michael is the angel of war okay in the hebrew is mikaala which means um who is like the power okay it says and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even at that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book <laughs> so you see <laughs> so this is speaking of a future event that's yet to come our savior Yahweh shai is coming with angel michael okay and the host of all his angels that's why it's called the uh, the god of hosts because the most High has a thousand 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 which means millions millions uncountable amount of of host of angels you know they're coming to bring down this society that is run by the devil this society that is run by the wicked esau edom the so-called white man in power you know so where do you get all those fables that are being taught in the churches that lucifer had a beautiful voice he tempted the rest of the angels no you this is how you know that the devil is in power because he lies and he deceived the people you know just like written here and it says the and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world it was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and into the earth if you go into the root word, let's see what it says. It says, Guy. It says, arable land, the ground. Okay? And this is exactly what's been said in, um, um, sit down in the ground, daughter of Babylon. Is it Isaiah 45? Let me see. Daughter of Babylon. So now the question is, does Babylon have a daughter? Can. this is the book of um, isaiah 47 it says come down and sit in the dust o virgin daughter of babylon <laughs> does babylon have a daughter yes that daughter is america america it's she's called a virgin because it's the only land that has not suffered invasion by other countries that has not suffered war from the outside you know They've only had some internal wars amongst themselves, but America has never been invaded by anyone. I've never, America has not been touched by anyone. That's why she's called a virgin. Okay? It says, come down and sit in the dust. That's that earth that we just read about. It says, come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldean, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Now, if you go to the book of Psalm 137, Psalm 137, it tells you that Esau Edom is that Babylon. Okay. Verse 7 it says, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom. Now, if you go to Edom, I told you, it says, The elder twin brother of Jacob ends the region Idumia, occupied by him. Now, I also posted a video to tell you that there was a time in Wikipedia. I still have the video on my phone. If you need it, you can drop the comments. There was, there was a time on Wikipedia. If you type in um, Rome, it tells you that it was called Idumia, you know, because the Romans are Edomites. Idumians, though you have some of our people mingled amongst them. But when they, I'm not speaking of the original Romans because the original Romans were Japhites. Okay, so that's another thing. When these wicked people overthrown, overthrew on uh, the real original inhabitants of Rome, you know, when Ju you had Julius Caesar and you had um, you had um, Caligula, when you had um, um, you had the, um, the Flavian dynasty, Vespasian, all these people were Edomites. They were of the seed of Edom, and Edom means red. You know. That's the color of their skin. 
they are not white they are red because there is no white person and there is no black person you have different shades of brown people and different shades of red people why are they red because the most i strip them of their pigment it says remember all yahweh the children of edom in the day of jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation now if you go read the book of um is it second Esdras? i can't remember it tells you that the edomites were the people that actually burnt the temple of jerusalem <laughs> it says oh daughter of babylon so you see edom is known as the daughter of babylon who are to be destroyed happy shall be he that rewarded thee as thou hast served us and that reward is coming through our savior yahweh shai you know so they, they are known as the daughter of babylon these are the people that's being spoken of satan falling from their power and it's a future event it's yet to come because they are still in power today the world is given into the hands of the wicked that's the book of Job, um, Job 9, 24. It tells you, it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? He saw the wicked are the one ruling this world that we know right now. So you see, that's what is being written here. It says, And that great dragon was cast out that old serpent called devil and satan which deceived the whole world was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him no more thrown they sit in the dust okay they're going into captivity this so-called white man that you see today that's ruling they are going to be slaves in the kingdom man they are going to be slaves and they're going to be exterminated according to the book of um the first book of obadiah one is it verse 18 it says and the house of jacob shall be a fire and the house of joseph a flame okay this represents um the two um you know the house of israel split it into two okay and it says the house of esau that we just read from edom you know esau edom okay for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh had spoken it. You know? So you see, this is what's being spoken of. Um, now the churches, they run away with a different fable. They teach you different fables and keep you in darkness. Because darkness represents ignorance, man. Thick darkness, gross darkness. Let's get the book of, um, of John 12, 31. You see, this is our Savior speaking. Yahweh Shai answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world, because this world is run by the wicked. He said, Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Now, who is the prince of this world? Prince means the son of a king, right? Who is the king ruling now? Satan. And who is this prince? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that's in power. These are his princes, you know? And this is this is this is a prophecy, man. People don't understand the teachings of our Savior. He says, and now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Okay? Because why? Yahweh Shai has come to do the last sacrifice to return us back to power. Now he's coming back again to take down these princes that are ruling this world in wickedness, you know. So let's get one more scripture that these people use. To say, you know, Lucifer, all those other things, you know. This is um Isaiah 14 12. Isaiah 14 12 says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? <laughs> so who is weakening the nation right now? The nations. Esau Edom. And the word Lucifer, people run away with it. It only means light bearer, strongs. You see, it says LA. It means light bearer. Now, if you watch the <laughs> this is this is what dictionary says. It says another name for Satan. Well, they are right in some way because you know Satan is running this world right now, which is Esau. Okay, and they call themselves the they are, they are the, um, Luciferians, you know. 
um, illuminati the word illuminati in italians means illuminated it means the illuminated ones illuminati that's what they call themselves lucifer you know now if you watch um the olympics the last champion is going to pass the torch to the next champion or something like that you know and that's how they pass the torch so he saw the so-called white man is the one holding the torch right now you know is the one living in heaven right now is is, is living the lofty part of life right now you know so he's known as lucifer the light bearer you know how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nation for thou art set in thy heart i will ascend into heaven they did not ascend into heaven yes they placed their they placed their what do you call it their satellites in the sky these are the sons of esau you know it says i will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high i will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north and this it did by changing the images of the the of the likeness of our of our savior and his apostles and disciples and putting his image that image of jesus that you see today is not the image of the real person man that's the image of someone else cesare borgia the second son of the sixth pope okay and all that thing goes back to christus serapis okay which is of a lineage of ptolemy who was one of the generals of alexander the creep Alexander the Great. Now, Alexander the Great is an Edomite. You know, I've done a lesson on this, I think, in Italian, but I might also do a lesson in English. So, you need to understand now, if you go to the beginning of this verse, you know, it tells you, it tells you that, you know, From verse 4 it says thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of babylon and say how has the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased okay and it's not speaking of the ancient babylon it's speaking of the future babylon remember we just read that esau edom is known as the daughter of babylon this book is written in code and you need the spirit to understand it you see it says it's we who smote the people in rats with a continual stroke either ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and non ended you know this man went doing his tour of democracy going into different countries turning them to wilderness leaving them in abject poverty if you don't accept his uh, his proposals it destroys your country man you can go ask from libya you can go ask from afghanistan you can go ask from iraq you can go ask from iran you know, you can go ask from Cuba, Venezuela. This man goes all around the world. You can go ask from Nigeria and all these people, you know. They destroy these countries, you know. This is who it's speaking of. It's speaking of the so-called white man, you know. And so you see, when it comes to, to 12, it tells you how are that falling because it's going to fall. This is exactly what it means, you know. Now there's a contrast because... The same thing also happened to the sons of Israel. Let's read the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, How at Yahweh covered the daughter of Zion? Now, the daughter of Zion represents the sons of Israel. Okay? It says, How at Yahweh Bashemiah Oshai covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his hunger and cast down from heaven onto the earth the beauty of Israel and remember not his footstool in the day of his anger. Yes, the Most High did this because the Israelites broke the commandments. They broke the deal. They broke the, uh, the covenants they had with the Father. They broke the seal on uh, the covenants that is sealed with blood. You know? So what did the Most High do? He punished them. He sent them um, into captivity in the hands of their enemies. So as you can see, the same thing also happened to the Israelites. And this is the thing that's going to happen to Esau Edom in the future. Okay? Where is it? This is the thing that's going to happen to Esau, Edom in the future. Excuse me. Um, Isaiah 14. So you see how at that falling down from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. So this is what's going to happen in the future to, to, to Esau. But it already, it's already, it already happened to Israelites and it's still happening to Israelites as you see here. So you see the contrast. 
It says, How has Yahweh covered the daughter of Zion, which represents the Israelites, with a cloud in his anger? That's because we broke the commandments and cast down from heaven onto the earth the beauty of Israel. <laughs> so, are you saying that we were also cast down out of heaven just like Lucifer? So, you see, you see where these people they come with all different kinds of wicked doctrines because the spirit is not working with them so i'm still waiting till these christians they show me that verse that says lucifer was uh, the best singer and blah 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 and uh, they i'm still waiting for them to give me that narrative of how he, he fought against the most high and and you know he was dropped down you know because they take a, a prophecy of the future and they tell you as if it's something past okay it makes no sense because if you go back to the book of revelation the 12th chapter okay and you read on it tells you that after this thing happens then the kingdom is going to be given into the hands it says it says in verse 10 and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his son, Amashiach, Yahushai, okay? He says, now is come the kingdom, okay? So when this man goes down, then the kingdom of heaven is going to begin because it's the one ruling. So you see, this is speaking of a future event. Now, I've tried my best through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahushai, Yahushai, to, to bring out this point, you know? I didn't mean to let this lesson be long, but, you know, sometimes the spirit pushes you to, to go deeper which you know lots of precepts came out that I, I didn't even plan to bring out but this is what it is you know so hopefully this lesson has opened your eyes to show you that these christians and these churches they teach you nothing but fables in which you need to run out of them right now before it's too late you know judgment is approaching soon so hopefully this was a defined to the spirit and power of the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai on to the next one shalom